Hello, good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Sunday, the 17th of January, the second Sunday of Epiphany. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We'll be joyful in the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 145, starting at the first verse. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory, and I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They shall speak the might of your marvellous acts, and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power to make known to all peoples your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. King of the universe, you show the bright glory of your reign in acts of mercy and enduring love. Raise the spirits of the downcast and restore those who have fallen away, that we may sing forever of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 62, starting at the first verse. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest, until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name, 
that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called, my delight is in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your builder marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Here ends the first lesson. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears. Our second scripture reading comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 11. And this is what some of you used to be, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for fornication, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Should I therefore take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that whoever is united to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For it is said, the two shall be one flesh. But anyone united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body, but the fornicator sins against the body itself. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Here ends the second lesson. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the chosen of God. 
the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy promise, prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. We now bring ourselves before God in a time of prayer, bringing to our Lord those things which are on our hearts. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That the people of God in all the world may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. That the church may discover again that unity which is the Father's will. Let us pray to the Lord. That the nations of the earth may seek after the ways that make for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That the whole creation groaning in travail may be set free to enjoy the glorious liberty of the children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. That all who with Christ have entered the shadow of death may rest in peace and rise in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us commend the world to which Christ showed the way to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new, transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ who sends us to the nations give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 